The shelf life of beef is the period of time that begins when the product is placed in its initial package and continues to the time that it is acceptable for purchase and it has not reached its spoilage point. Shelf life includes storage time, time for distribution, and display time. Storage life refers to the time between initial packaging and entry into retail display, while display life or case life describes the length of time that beef can be exhibited in a retail display case under refrigeration. Although the point of complete spoilage is subjective, it can be defined by the deterioration resulting in unsatisfactory odor, color, or taste. Generally speaking, beef shelf life is a function of the time before deterioration occurs in these traits due to bacteria spoilage and or oxidative spoilage. If at any point in time beef products become contaminated with pathogenic bacteria, it is considered spoiled at that time. There are both intrinsic and extrinsic factors that affect the shelf life of beef. The intrinsic factors include pH and the concentration of nutrients that influence bacterial growth. The extrinsic factors include oxygen and light exposure and storage temperature. Packaging technologies have a tremendous effect on beef shelf life and are strategically managed to prolong freshness. Managing the growth of spoilage bacteria is critical to managing and extending shelf life, particularly retail display time. The predominant spoilage bacteria in beef products are Pseudomonas species, Lactobacillus, and other bacteria species. Most all spoilage bacteria are non-pathogenic and they will not cause illness. Nonetheless, these bacteria drastically affect the organoleptic qualities of beef. Normal bacteria growth occurs in four stages, lag phase, log phase, stationary phase, and death phase. Spoilage becomes evident at the transition between lag and stationary growth when populations are at their maximum. Off odors such as putrid, acid, and sour are detectable when spoilage bacteria reach populations of approximately 10 million colony forming units. Visual color is the primary indicator of freshness used by beef consumers, and consumers routinely make purchase or no purchase decisions based on color. In the muscle tissue of animals, myoglobin is the major pigment responsible for the color of beef. It comprises more than 90% of the total pigment of beef muscle. There are three general states of myoglobin, which determines beef color. When there is no oxygen present, myoglobin is in the deoxymyoglobin state, resulting in a purple color. This purple appearance exists in living muscle and beef that is vacuum packaged. The purple color does not reflect a lack of freshness, as some consumers may perceive. In fact, it can serve as an indication of beef that has been appropriately vacuum sealed. When exposed to oxygen, myoglobin binds oxygen to form oxymyoglobin. The oxymyoglobin state of myoglobin produces a bright cherry red color. This color is most commonly associated with fresh beef color by consumers. As a result, the vast majority of fresh beef in retail display is stored so that the surface of products appears to be in an oxymyoglobin state. This is achieved via oxygen permeable films, impregnated skin pack films, and modified atmosphere packaging. Metmyoglobin is the oxidized state of myoglobin and appears to be brown in color. Metmyoglobin formation and the subsequent brown color can serve as an indication of spoilage and a lack of freshness. This is recognized by consumers, causing them not to purchase beef products exhibiting this state of myoglobin. Very low levels of carbon monoxide can be used in low oxygen modified atmosphere packages to stabilize the bright cherry red color of beef during storage by fixing myoglobin in a carboxymyoglobin state. Also, as one example, nitrite can be incorporated into packaging films that come into contact with the surface of fresh beef products to serve as an antioxidant and stabilize color of fresh beef by fixing myoglobin in a nitroxymyoglobin state. It may be possible to incorporate other compounds with a similar impact. In some abnormal situations, a green color can form as a consequence to exposure to sulfur compounds. This color is highly undesirable to consumers. 
Phospholipids found in cell membranes of beef are primarily responsible for lipid oxidation and oxidative rancidity because they contain the highest proportion of unsaturated fatty acids. Therefore, even low-fat beef is susceptible to lipid oxidation. There are three stages to lipid oxidation, namely initiation, propagation or branching, and termination. The oxidation process results from a free radical chain reaction or cascade. The accumulation of oxidation byproducts causes the development of rancid or warmed over odor and flavor. Additionally, lipid peroxidation results in acceleration of the formation of metmyoglobin, which is responsible for brown color of beef. Slowing the rate of lipid and pigment oxidation can extend the storage life of beef. Increased storage life, combined with technology to improve display time, is key to beef merchandising. It is important to continue to improve packaging technologies to meet consumer needs for safety, eating quality, cost, and sustainability.